Welcome again to our tribute to Lucy. I'm Cindy Vandor, and I'm a very lucky lady today because I've had the opportunity to meet many people who have known Lucy throughout her life, and I have an opportunity now to talk with them. One of them is Shirley Jones, and another is Marty Ingalls. There are connections both of them have to Lucy. Not only have they been in the business for many years, and each of you has had a series on, I think that might have been on at the same time as all of Lucy's series, probably. Yes, but a little you, bit later. A little yeah. bit later. Shirley's was way later. Yeah, mine yeah. was in the 70s. Uh, but I'm curious to hear some reminiscences about her uh, that you have about her personal life. Tell us about that. Well, I, I think, you know, as I said to you earlier, uh, I've heard so many people tell about the wonderful Lucy and the wonderful clown and the wonderful person. Uh, uh, and God knows she was all of that and mm -hmm. a wonderful talent. But um, I got to know her as a woman and as a mother and as a wife, you know. and. The many times that we worked together, and we worked together mostly on musical shows, we mm -hmm. did the Bob Hope specials mm -hmm. and things like that together, and I've known Lucy for 30 years and more, and she lives in the neighborhood. You know, we were neighbors. And so I got to see the other side of Lucy, and she was, for me, a marvelous role model in that way, because I had a career, and I had children, and I had a marriage going, and every time we talked, of course she loved her career, and she loved being the clown that she was, and she was a great humorist but she talked so much about her family mm -hmm. and the things that the, the the little things you know she was she was Lucy on the show she was a real lady and she talked about what a wonderful thing it was to have children and how she mm -hmm. wanted children for so long and finally it happened to her you know yeah, she's quoted as saying her greatest achievement yeah. yes. was her, ch were and her children she talked about that kids. forever you know well, and you then know? later she talked about her grandchildren right. you know and she was right. very yeah. into all of that and I and I think for me and certainly many people in in our business mm -hmm. uh i think that she was a real mo role model because i was able to have a career and maintain children mm -hmm. and every time i was with her you know she talked mostly about that uh, wouldn't you know that surely real person who sees things only through her family would pick that part of lucy out because Shirley is the same kind of person but there's a funny kind of a stigma believe it or not that happens with performers when they become super people mm -hmm. you don't hear about their personal life anymore when Fred Astaire died I mean it was very little about them as f as, 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 mm -hmm. as, as fathers as wives and I haven't heard one person discuss Lucy's passion for her family and yet through all the talent and all the years of struggle and, and all the superstardom and clownness she really felt if you read anything about her that her priorities were family first mm -hmm. husbands husband when there was husbands second and children, number one children. Now she had a similar instance as you have had. She brought her ch her children are very talented. Mm -hmm. I saw Lucy Arnaz in Social Security on yes. the stage. Oh, she's very talented. Terrific. Talented. I'm sorry I missed her in playing our song, but she sings and dances and acts and is is comic as well. Desi Arnaz Jr. was yes. a, an idol when I, I was growing up. He was a Friend hot of punk. My children's right. And, yeah. You, and you had up. You must be 14 now. Easily, <laughs> maybe 15. No, almost 15. You had a similar situation where yes. you have very talented children, and they too followed your footsteps into showbiz. What uh, is is that? Some of what you shared? With yes, exactly. With as I said, Lucy lived in the neighborhood, and my kids would go over there on Halloween, you know, and ring the doorbell, and she was just like, you know, the good neighbor for mm -hmm. them. I mean, Lucy would come to the door herself and give the children candy or whatever she had, you know, uh, on Halloween. And uh, they thought of her that way. Mm -hmm. And th the other wonderful thing, I think, and I know that this has been mentioned uh, often, but she was one of the most honest human beings I've ever known. Mm -hmm. Sometimes to the point where, uh, you know, it was real disarming. criticism. Disarming. Disarming, yes, and criticism. Mm -hmm. But you took criticism from Lucy because she was always right about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, uh, when I worked with her, she'd say, listen, why don't you try it this way? It's not working that way. And from somebody else, yeah. I might have been... A, a little upset, but she was so wonderful about it, and you knew that it came right from her heart. She did it. Yeah. Well, you, well, you, Marty. Um, uh, yes, have, I'm Marty. Yes. But surely. <laughs> How are you? Uh, you have been an actor, and now you are very much a Hollywood businessman. Yes. Same situation. She um, became known well, as she much was my for her business sense. Well, when I had my television series in mm -hmm. 1963, that's 20 or 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, she was the owner of Desilu, and she was my landlady, and I got to know her then as the commanding business person. And I knew her, until I met Shirley, I only knew her that way. I'm curious a, about that. She was indeed a pioneer. Oh, and a tough, a tough business The first lady. independent, female independent producer that this town has mm -hmm. ever yeah, had. Yeah, at the beginning she had great support with Desi, yeah. both of them together, right. but I mean, she was a tough, a tough business lady. But the honesty came out in the only direct thing that she said to me ever. When, and and it, it kind of floored me a little bit, but uh, it, it, maybe we can find something from that. Uh, when Shirley and I got married, 
and uh, we received lots of people uh, mm -hmm. to come say hello and congratulations and I was in a coma most of the time <laughs> for that whole thing. As long as it wasn't on, on your wedding night. Yes, right, no, no, exactly. that's true. Was, it, was that <laughs> No, I? you are right. That's <laughs> another show altogether. <laughs> that's a late night show. That's right. That's called The Naked and the Dead. That's a whole big <laughs> oh, movie. Wait. No, wait a second. It's been a long day. She came up to me and everybody was congratulating this and that and she came up and shook my hand and bent over and I thought she was going to kiss me on the cheek and she whispered in my ear with that low graspy voice mm -hmm. she has at the end, you better take care of her or I'm going to beat the crap out of you. <laughs> <laughs> now those are the words. That's she, a friend. Well she knew, friend. she knew Shirley right. had some ups and downs and she said listen kid, uh, congratulations on all later but for now you better take care of that lady. And, that, and she meant it, and it was true, and it came with love, and you accepted it for that. Well, we're so happy to have had you here to tell us. Are you really happy? Nice I be really And why didn't they give I us really a sandwich am. or something? <laughs> <laughs> they said we ordered we'll something. In fact, what we want you to do is put your feet up. We'll get some popcorn You're coffee, kidding. and we want you to, to, watch to join us in watching these favorite episodes that are coming okay. up. At home, start your VCRs rolling, because what's coming up now are four of Lucy's favorite episodes. We're going to start off with the one that's got to be my favorite episode. It's where she drinks the Vitamita Vegemin oh. and doesn't barely get through it. It's a great one. So let's sit back and watch one of the classics, one of Lucy's favorites. Lucy does a commercial. <laughs> 